Hello everybody! Well, <clears throat> I am making this video as a response to AG Entertainment's video on how you record video game footage to your computer and how you would use it for for your video editing software needs. And so he's been explaining that that the audio that he uses from his Dazzle capture device has really bad audio and you know it just well it just doesn't sound very good and so he had been looking for other solutions on how you record video game footage so for that I figured that I would make this as a response and show you guys how I record my video game footage for use on my video game reviews so Let's get started on this how-to video. So, here's what you'll need. A TV, a DVD recorder, a game console, a computer, and a video editing software installed on it. So, first of all, I'm going to insert the DVD that I'm using into the DVD recorder. In this case, I'm using a DVD minus RW for re-recordability. So right now, let's play what I have recorded on the DVD. It turns out to be a little bit of gameplay footage from Tasmania when I was testing it out on my Sega Genesis. I won't be needing that, so I will now format my DVD RW. This is why I prefer to use DVD RW when recording gameplay footage, because I will be able to format everything that's on there. While with DVD minus R, you can't because what's on that is permanent. Now, the game I'm going to be recording for this review, or this video that is, is Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. So let's pop the game into the Super Nintendo and fire it up. So now that I have the game on, let's press record on the DVD recorder. Now it's recording the footage that I'm using as I'm playing the game. Not only would I be able to use it to capture video game footage, but I can also use it to capture footage from TV. For this example, I'm going to be recording footage from Standing Still, since that's what I have on playing on my TV right now. Recording that, and after that, it's time to move on. It's also good for recording stuff from VHS tapes, and use it to upload commercials or TV episodes. One example of that is this VHS recording of the original Transformers cartoon. This episode of the Transformers was recorded on TV in 1986, so I record part of that with a little bit of the commercials as well. So now, let's take a look at what I recorded. There's three things to select on there. The first one is the footage of Donkey Kong Country that I recorded from my Super Nintendo. The second one is footage from Standing Still that I recorded off TV. And the third is the footage of the original Transformers cartoon from my VHS tape. Now that I have those recorded, it's time to finalize the DVD so I can rip the footage onto my computer. So now to put the DVD into the DVD driver. Now there's two softwares that you will need to download on your computer. There's DVD Decryptor and there's Badgerit's VOB to MPEG. Both softwares are completely free to download. So now after I open up DVD Decryptor, there is three files that are available for me to rip. These files are the video files that I recorded. So now it's time to rip the footage. Do this for all three of them. Now it's being exported in the DVD recording video folder and these are the files that I ripped from DVD Decryptor. Now I gotta convert them to MPEG-2. To do so, it's time to open up VOB to MPEG. Click on the ico icon that says IFO mode and it will be changed to VOB to MPEG mode. After that, then click on the folder tab in DVD and click on the folder where you saved your VOB files. After that, then you click on the folder next to Output Folder and save it to where you want to save your MPEG-2 files, which you will use in your video editing software. 
Here are the three MPEG-2 files that I exported. Now, I import them to the video editing software that I use, and now I start editing the files, export them, and now here's the final results. Problem. I, I mean, not a problem. <laughs> Help me. Not anymore. The Transformers will return after these messages. Hatching Cobra's really tough, you know. And Cobra's up to something that like the idol. Alright, so I hope this video proves helpful to you especially to AG Entertainment, which this video is a direct response to. And so, and I think you're better off using this, using this device that I've been using. Instead of capturing video from that Dazzle device that he's been using, which, like he said, the video and audio would be completely out of place. Pretty much the audio with the crackling and how it's all out of sync. While by, while by ripping from MPEG-2 video, on a DVD, you know, the video and audio would stay perfectly in place, and you know, the video is high quality, the audio is high quality, you know, everything about it is, well, DVD quality, and that's great for video editing, and that is what I've been using for my video game reviews. Especially for my upcoming Super Punch-Out review, which I'm currently working on it right now, but I just thought I'd make this video after AG Entertainment made his made his video and just asking for suggestions on you know just coming up with suggestions from other people on how to record on how you also record video game footage. So that's why I decided to make this video. So comment, rate, subscribe, and overall I'll see you next time.